Hello and welcome back to episode number two of uh, Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. This is Hamza, cursed one of the Bella, who is still trying to do his permadeath run and apparently is standing in the middle of everyone so that they are just talking over us. Um, in the last episode, uh, Hamza was uh, starting out his journey. We were uh, trying the two-handed uh, build. Haven't yet transitioned into heavy armor. Still running around with kind of the beginner leather armor, albeit uh, we have exchanged it. We had a few harsh encounters with bandits and I figured it's time at the beginning of this episode to set a couple of uh, things up. Number one. Uh, we definitely will need to get an amulet and I do have an idea where we can get uh, one for free at the uh, start. Number two, we will need uh, to start a quest line or quest chain for better armor, but that it will take some time, some in-game time. So I am here in Solstein, uh, which is the DLC content, and we're going to go uh, right to here. Uh, where there's an excavation uh, in uh, between the rest of the map. Let me just uh, find that one here. No, we don't want to uh, travel to Skyrim. Well, I can uh, talk you through that. Essentially, we went through a couple of um, merchants. I shortly was in um, Windhelm just to get uh, supplies. We are basically stocked up with uh, supplies. I also stole some potions. I'm not proud of it, but we're running out of money because we need money for the uh, settle over to here. Um, and we also need money to uh, essentially start the quest uh, line here. In case you're wondering uh, about fast travel, you've just uh, seen that. Uh, the only feature of Requiem that I have disabled is the fast travel. Whenever I'm fast traveling and it would cost money, I'm just deducting uh, that sort of money from Hamza's account. But uh, for my own uh, sanity, I'm trying to make it a little bit faster. So we're uh, rushing towards the excavation site. That's step number one. And then step number two will be getting an amulet. And then it's back into the Riften area because there are still a couple of bandits left over. Plus we got a few more bandits in and around Windhelm, uh, which is the capital of the Nords. So that should be fun. Hopefully I can hit level three, four, maybe five and get the build a little bit more going. A uh, couple more stable fights today. Uh, yesterday uh, was a bit of a warm up or last session was a bit of a warm up. Okay, here we go. Fantastic, we find a couple of ash spawns. Man, we can kill one of them or two for free. As they are currently distracted. Very good, that worked like a charm. See, greater inside potions, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Declaration of War, not so much. There you go. This is Captain Vila. Um, he would give us a, an, um, a mission to raid these runes with Ashspawn. Maybe something that we can do a little bit later. Thanks. I wish I could have said the same. Some of the Me, Might as well already take uh, that mission for a later episode time. if we actually can survive that long. The Ash spawn are former soldiers and uh, their leader is kind of uh, the boss of the Ash uh, spawn. And he essentially asks us uh, to kill him. Yeah, General Falks uh, died a few hundred years ago. Alright, so that uh, was a small Ash spawn encounter, just a bit of experience in between to level faster. We are now moving towards the excavation site. See you there. Alright, as we are walking through the landscape, we find a young apprentice, journal of a madman who wanted to touch the sky. And finally, or um, good for us, he had a staff of fury. 
and a few other valuable items, <coughs> and plus the Journal of a Madman. I, by the way, forgot to show you. I was running out of money, uh, so besides purchasing quite a few deficient potion, we also need to steal some. I stole some uh, poisons that might be helpful for us. A fortify carry weight because that was one of our biggest problems, and we really kept the higher recuperation potions as well as our resistance to shock. Uh, as for the staff, I think we're going to be using that going forward uh, from time to time. Fury is fantastic as a spell and uh, <clears throat> will help uh, the enemies to attack uh, one another whilst we are standing by. All right, uh, time to continue to move on. Good, so here we are at the excavation site. We just started the quest, uh, which is called Unearthed. Rallus, uh, a traitor in disguise, is essentially offering us to help us to get uh, to, uh, to unbound these runes. Uh, these contain a set of really nice armor, which we can uh, use, or at least parts of it, which we can use. So we needed to pay him a thousand gold pieces and it will become gradually more and more expensive to continue the excavation, but it's well worth it uh, for the armor that we're getting. Another gold sink that I thought about is, since this is not uh, going to be the Dragonborn, uh, I still can think that we can learn a shout. Uh, the lore within Skyrim uh, allows normal people to really heavily study. And I think Hamza can learn like one shout. And I wanted to use one that hasn't been uh, used as often. So Hamza is going to go for the disarm shout. And that's the only one that he can ever learn. Um, in order to simulate, quote unquote, uh, that learning, um, Hamza will need to pay 2,500, 5,000 and 10,000 gold pieces in training uh, fees uh, just for the time that he spends. I'll do one more bandit camp now and then we're off back to Riften. Good, time to go into the camp. We're almost uh, there, just over this mountain hillside. And it's also time to test our new staff. There we go. Alright, one down. This guy here is in fury. Pull him to his friend. Well, apparently they don't want to fight each other. Instead, now both of them want to fight me. Well, thank God. I'll show you what a real orc can do. Okay, this should have been good enough. Yep. Oh, wow, a fire sprig, and well, we're not going to engage with that. Holy shit, look at the damage. Nope. No bueno. Alright. Peace out. We're not going to fight the spriggan. Well, they aggroed it. I wanted to fight them square and fair. But here we go. There's Stormfang. There's another Nordic carved plate, which we could have used. And I think it's time to part ways uh, with our Orcish Warhammer and instead welcome Stormfang. We're going to use one of our potions uh, that we were stealing. Potion of increased uh, carry weight. And we're back to a sword. Not the most elegant way of uh, getting it. I would certainly agree with that. 
the Spriggan has done the job instead of us uh, battling through it. But okay, it is what it is. We're still alive and that's what counts. Good, we got, I think, two larger chests here. Big time inside potions. That is super helpful. And if I wasn't, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, oh wow. Oh no. That Spriggan is still there. We're de aggroed, but for whatever reason, it's patrolling that area. Yeah, no loot uh, in the world is worth a single uh, shot and uh, be killed. So we take what we've gotten. We're looting a few more miners. Actually, should be okay. Apparently not. Nope. Well. Apparently we don't have enough health in order to do that. Anyways, back to Soul's time. Let's sell our hammer. Let's sell the rest of our equipment that we don't need. We got a new sword, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks to this little encounter, we got ourselves Stormfang. 25 points of shock damage and uh, 25 additional unresistible damage to constructs. Really nice weapon against uh, constructs, but they are still far out of our league. It's time to get some cash and then do some actual bandit encounters. See you in a bit. And before we leave the island, uh, let's just use all of our skill potions. We want to level up heavy armor. 20 is just about right. Matter of fact, I think we want to get both two-handed and uh, heavy armor to 25, but... That's okay for now. You know what? Let's just uh, finish both of the skills to 25. That's the breakpoint where they become more expensive, so might as well go with them. Alright. Almost uh, there. Luckily enough for us, we found a level up and we're okay on stamina management, okay-ish. We potentially need a little bit more in the future, but I would like to increase uh, Magicka in anticipation of more casting that we're going to do in the future. Now, a few things because we want to transition to heavy armor soon. We are okay on one-handed so far. We potentially need two, maybe three perks in heavy armor to make it work. Blocking is not on the table at the moment, so it's going to be heavy armor. We're now conditioned uh, to uh, just take less um, stamina drain whilst we're wearing the armor. And right over here on combat training, once we're hit 25, uh, that should be the next perk. Relentless Onslaught might be another one that we are interested in. That's the one here in the middle. Which will allow us to sprint in heavy armor with less drain. Combat casting finally is one as well that we should think about. Because if we want to cast illusion spells then we need that. So quite a few investments actually in heavy armor. Um, the other investment that we're going to take soon is illusion. I want to actually level Illusion up to Adapt tier. So I think the uh, build order for this build will be Heavy Armor 25, uh, then getting one more perk, maybe the Combat perk here for now, and then Rushing Illusion to 40 next, uh, just so that we can get the adept level spells the word becomes more and more interesting okay good 
Fantastic. Back to the mainland and off we go. Okay, so next stop, we are right up here north of uh, Riften, where we are taking a uh, free amulet of Xenother. A little bit of offerings as well. And say thank you. That will give us a small movement speed increase. We're not a champion of Venicer. We're believing in Debella. Or we're the cursed one of Debella. But 2% is better than nothing. Specifically when we're transitioning to heavy armor in the future. Now that's step one. Step two is uh, going back into Riften. And I would want to take a new quest. Uh, getting a horse next. Uh, to make us a little bit more mobile. For that, we are going to talk uh, with Louis Latrish. I need someone. <clears throat> ah, I paid Sibby half the cost of. He's I missing his horse, and he Sibby now before. wants Good to get man. it back. So to we're doing. And talk to Sibby. You'll be well paid for your time. Oh uh, yeah. All right. We're doing exactly that. Why Sibby in jail? No idea. But whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No god would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's book. Good. We're going to start that, and I would on, also Tell like to, to take potentially a Nox scroll or two with me. Our funds looking, funds are looking very well. So we're going to purchase a few Nox scrolls um, right at uh, the um, at uh, the castle here. <clears throat> and we're also uh, going to try to talk to Zibi. Give me a second. Good. So let's do the persuasion first. Let's uh, try to. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry. Oh, nice. We were successful thanks to Dibella, uh, who also improves your persuasion skill. And the more skill checks we make over the period of our character, the better. That will uh, reduce our casting cost for illusions. So that's kind of the milestone how the game in 3BF tweaks uh, keeps track of uh, you actually like worshiping your god. Ah, let me. That is correct. Good. So this guy here got framed. Tell you, sure. I obviously don't take it. Fantastic. And now we got the key, since we are persua uh, persuasive and can get Frost's lineage papers. What we don't have so far are Nox scrolls, so let, let's get them next. Good, time for us to purchase Nox scrolls. Boy, boy, that is going to be an expensive run. <clears throat> but I think we're going to be fine. 1,600 gold pieces for three Nox scrolls. Holy moly. Unfortunately, there is only so much you can do. You know, if you've got the in appetite, you should join the Requiem, game. if you do not uh, have the ability to pick lock or cast knock yourself, then you're essentially out of luck. So, back to Riften and let's get the horse. Good, we are at the southern entrance of Riften. Time to do the typical preparations whilst we are moving. A little bit of healing aura, so that we're fine. Potato soup, yes. And we got lavender, uh, which we can eat for magic resistance. A little bit of magic resistance and quite a bit of uh, healing supplies. So off we go. There's the first bandit camp right around that uh, road. that we might be able to use in order to get some more experience. Oh, we also got some wolves. Fantastic. Let's eliminate the wolves first. And there we go. Seamless transition into bandit. All 
right? Fantastic. He was distracted just for a moment. Nordic gauntlets. I wonder if we should go for an all Nordic armor, if that's possible. Might not be a bad idea. Wait a second, he had an elven war axe? But that was a one-handed. Okay, never mind. Oh well. Got an archer here. Well, lucky for us, we killed him right away. Maybe an upgrade with a helmet. That's pretty much the bandit camp already. Let's just double check. No, we got the elven helmet. That's not an upgrade at all. Yeah, unfortunately we can't really deal with an apprentice lock and it's not worth a knock scroll. Knock is 500 gold pieces just to open that. We do have bigger fish to fry further down the road for now. Are you the Azura priest? I think so. For now we're just moving on. Right, we moved right into our next bandit camp. One with a few archers, which is going to be a problem. Let's sprint up. Alright, one down. Where's the other one? That's a crossbow bandit. Careful here. We're still light armor. Got your shot, buddy. Fortunately, he was hitting us. Yeah, dwarven uh, bolts. So, one thing towards archers, because I haven't been talking much about them yet. Archers do have the unfortunate property that they are dealing increased or really, really high damage against lightly armored or non armored targets at all. Uh, which for us means in light armor. We are constantly struggling with uh, getting uh, getting hit, and you can even get one shot. On top of uh, the damage that they are anyways doing against these targets, uh, they do have increased damage against, uh, mm, uh, against uh, targets when they do have specific bolts or ammunition out of higher material. Say Dwarven and Elven, for instance, apply not only a huge damage bonus, but also uh, the property of uh, the respective material. Uh, Orcish, for instance, does additional uh, damage against lightly armored targets. So if he has Orcish arrows uh, or Elven arrows, that is uh, a really, really painful experience. As you have seen, uh, an otherwise unleveled uh, bandit has almost gotten us down to 20%. Uh, Good. Time to go into uh, the fray here. Careful. Yeah, we're going to fight these guys outside. We're going to fight these guys outside. Fantastic. Should have paused the game there. Good. It's always fun if you start with uh, two hit points. Makes a battle a little bit more interesting. Let's actually take a better healing potion. Elsewise, this is going to take ages. Not impressed. Just stand still. All right, 
got uh, through his defenses and time to run again. Didn't dodge that very well. Oh, nice. Right into another camp of bandits. Who would have thought? Now we're dealing with a nice little uh, six versus one situation. Luckily for us, these guys are hostile to one another. All right, bring it on, buddy. Very good. He walked right into my power attack. Seal armor. Unfortunately, he died by the hands of his comrade. So, no inside potion loots for us. As long as we don't kill them, we're not getting the loot. Which is a bit of a shame, but we were just running into contract murderers. Who would have thought? Got another seal crossbow here and I'm wondering. Uh, might use it shortly for the next one. Elven bolt. Couple of steel bolts. Not the worst idea. Did they really kill each other? We only found three of them dead. Where's the rest is the question. Am I missing something? We had three dead bodies and counted at least six of them. Maybe the rest retreated, so... Let's get ready for round number two. Oh no, here we are. I'll take the tomato soup, thank you. Flawless Ruby, nice little healing potion. Elf Sword is a fantastic find, but we're not one-handed. Good, let's check our potions real quick. So... We are okay, deficient healing, still 13. So, let's put this one here on six. And we are back at uh, our cave where we started. Unfortunately, the fight didn't really turn out the way that we wanted, but who could have guessed that there are contractual killers that wanted to hire us? I think, by the way, the contract reads... Um, well, Arcadia certainly wasn't happy about us. Good. I think we're done here. Efficient lock picking. This is two hand a ten, two handed book, which is fantastic because we're already at twenty five. So that actually saved us some money. The trap has been sprung, and that's an apprentice lock. But I think it's worth. Uh, since it's a major chest, it is worth one of our knocks. There we go. Oh yeah. That was definitely worth it, specifically due to the extra loot. All right. Bandit camp number one cleared, off to the next one. 
Good. Time to get the horse that we came here for. And we're starting with applying some poison to our weapon. Because this might be a tougher fight. Let's isolate one of uh, the two guards here. You picked a bad time to get lost. Ah! <laughs> All right, got a nice little chunk of damage. Right through her defenses. All right, fantastic, good. That worked like a charm. Got another key. And now to the even more interesting part, which is getting in there. Good, the lodge itself is a difficult place. All right, we went into the house, immediately aggroed everything and are now on our way out. I wanted to show you a little stealth trick, but that did not work um, as planned. Let's hope we're not going to get swarmed. Oh shit, we're getting swarmed. Alright, what are we dealing with? Four. Trying to separate them. By using terrain to our advantage. Let's hope we can get one of them down. That was a good opening. Fortunately, they are far from separated. Let's try that again. There we go. There is the separation we needed. Don't want to fight against four. There is just too much RNG in that. Oh, well. Take the loner. And don't get hit. That's the other tip. Gotta split them and gotta heal up. Most guys hit hard, but if we can get one or two down, the rest should be easy sailing. All right, that's the first one. Okay, separate them. Break the defense. Oh, we're out of stamina. Not good. Not good at all. Slowly but surely refreshing, which is good. Let's get them on the road. Okay, I think we can take them from here. Oh, 
one down. Two down. Oh, he definitely got us. Good. But we got him as well. And... Ooh, so his story ends, our still continues. What a slog. Could have played that cleaner. But we got all three of them and that's what counts. Good, now off to the building, and hopefully a little bit easier time inside. So we're chucking a lot of our blue mountain flowers. Unfortunately, our health is now higher than it used to be, so they are not enough to keep us, uh, to, to really keep us up. All right, time for the Blackbriar Lodge. We got the master keys. Should be an easy loot. Got the lodge's stash. The deed of ownership. Apprentice we can't open, but I think it's worthwhile using one of our scrolls here. We still got two. It was definitely not worth it. I was expecting a, a few potions of insight in there. I know there's a safe. Uh, which I might be mistaking this with the uh, thieves guild because there you need to get into a building as well it's equally tempting but you do have a few saves inside good i th think we're going to go with the uh with the food cheddar isn't bad is it no magical regeneration that's actually quite good might as well eat one now and reapply our buff a couple of cheese wheels um they are actually better than they uh, look definitely decent food and if we don't need to make it but instead have it oh, it's not bad novice chest we can open ourselves and i think that was pretty much it yeah all right time to steal the horse good we got ourselves uh, the horse i even succeeded on the persuasion uh check so time to level up a couple of skills i would say we still need two more in heavy armor and are good to go Fantastic, that's even a level up. And now, as for mage skills, we mentioned illusion is next. So we are actually putting everything in illusion for now. I very much like that new level system. One of the reasons why... Uh, yeah, we can spend greater insights for now. Shouldn't overdo it, but one doesn't hurt. So illusion almost at 20 which is good that was one of the reasons why it brought me back to the game so we got health and magicka and we're going back into health and then magicka again afterwards now we got one perk to spend i think it's fair to say that if we want to transition to heavy armor it's now or never ish 
Um, and hence, we're going to go with combat training. The next perks afterwards are now all going to go into illusion. Um, we want to get illusion 40 as soon as possible. Where we are. Okay, perfect. So that'll be three perks up to adapt illusion. And we have still a bit uh, to go, almost at level four. Uh, thanks to the illusion increase, so uh, we will potentially need to increase block and a couple of other uh, smaller skills, maybe even smithing, because there might be a chance that we temper our own uh, weapons. Let me figure out what we want to do next. I think I hinted that we're going to use the horse and are going to Valheim Tower in order to do some more bandits and level further up. Good. I've done all of uh, the preparations. Our first uh, location is here right next to the stone in uh, Whiterun. Uh, we've transitioned fully to heavy armor and this time we're fighting our first mage. Gotta be a bit careful here. And I want to make sure that we're not uh, biting off more than we can chew. I will even... poison the weapon so the idea is to quickly rush in and uh, strike him down we are in heavy armor so that's easier said than done stupid mage armor he's now feared but uh, we also do not have enough stamina to run after him gotta be careful nature's hit incredibly hard luckily a wolf comes to our aid all right that was more difficult than i would have anticipated holy shit we need to be really careful with our swings. And I was hoping for some jewelry uh, with magic resistance, but as it seems, we might want to really invest into more stamina re uh, regeneration. Somehow the game just slows down. Good. The beautiful part is we now do have, indeed, 730 armor as opposed to 300 that we had beforehand so this is going to be much much easier you've um in order to tank like a few hits at least uh, you've seen though that mages this was a bit me trying to showcase but it almost backfired um you've seen that mages are a force to be reckoned with they actually are quite dangerous if left alone and the big problem why mages are uh, so feared within requiem is they typically end up uh, simply out dpsing you you can't really reach them unless you're really really fast and uh, now that we've transitioned into heavy armor we're the exact opposite of really really fast good let's go to uh, the next target which is going to be our bounty it's hopefully uh, I'm going to work a little bit better than that. All right, time to get our bounty or die trying. I'm going to use a poison, fortify health, and I think we're going to use a regeneration potion as well because we are dealing with a lot of bandits here. Good. There is a free persuasion, if I'm not mistaken. Come on. There we go. Persuade. Fantastic. Alright. One down. And here we go.
Good. There are a lot of archers, and we gotta be careful with them. That's what you want. <laughs> Stay on the road, move backwards, keep our heads down. Wow, that was an arrow. Alright, gotta heal a little bit. Not the cleanest of all starts. What? Oh, a troll! Fantastic. Alright, we're going to use that to our advantage. Well, they got the troll down. Nice. Alright, we got an opening. That was good. Unfortunately, we also taken one hit. Okay, come on. No, not like this. All right, keep it going. There we go, walk right into that, into the swing. Blocked it. Staggered him. And we're good. Perfect. Well, not perfect. It was actually quite a scrappy fight, but we made it through. You can see the armor uh, protects us against lower level hits. And... However, on a multi versus one fight like this, I couldn't sprint and we can no longer evade just as well as we did with um, the quicker level armor, the evasion based armor. That's because our movement speed is now reduced and it makes it just generally more difficult for us to evade. Okay, taking whatever we can, specifically blue mountain flowers. I don't want to rush into all of them. I much rather pull one of them further away. Doesn't work. Unfortunately, doesn't work, but got ourselves some company so here we go again using the terrain to our advantage there are still a few bandits left over That one is almost down. In a one-on-one, -on -one they wouldn't stand a chance, but in a four versus one, it is a different story. That's the archer. Oh, well, not good. I'll break them up. Okay, here we go. But Khajiit had a bad day. Now we can't fight against uh, the archers as well. Oh, 
All right, that guy is down. Gotta be careful with the archers and with my horse because I don't want that to be killed. We got a nice little hit in there. Run, 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 run. Just barely evading the Grim Reaper here. Let's heal up. No magic whatsoever. Great. Okay, still a few more bandits. That is a scrappy fight. I wish I could have killed them a bit faster. Alright, one down. That's an opening. That's another opening, and all of a sudden he finds back to his form. Alright, which brings us back to this guy here. Alright, something in the background is lagging. After this fight, I definitely need to restart. This shouldn't have frame rate drops like this. Quite a few of them. But it also costed us a massive amount of potions. Why the heck are these mud crabs bothering us? Alright, mud crabs down. So you would think another one approaches. Oh, that was a slaughter fest. We killed so many of them. If I'm not mistaken, we had killed one up here. The biggest problem was when we got stuck up here in that multiverses one encounter. That's always spilling doom if you can't if you can't uh, avoid it i was caught up here on that little branch my bad for not uh, noticing that that was there in the first place but yeah now it is just her and us killed all of your bandits Well, we did not kill all of her bandits. Apparently, there are still some well and alive. Won't make the same mistake with that lock again. But I'll take any opening that you would give me. This guy is an archer. The Dunmers, the Dark Elves, have a racial ability that allows them to... Uh, create uh, the ward that you've seen. 
So they can do that at stamina cost and not at magicka cost. Wow, she's not attacking. And apparently the archers still have uh, decent ammunition left over. As long as she's in the way, she's going to get hit though. That archer is out of ammo. Okay. Come on. Okay, that was a good hit. That, on the other hand, was a good hit as well. Gotta be careful, her power attack is potentially level. And she can transition from that one swing into a power attack at no time. On the other hand, we do have a shock weapon. And there is some unresistible damage. Iron armor increases stamina. I think that's our new armor. And a really nice battle staff, which we wouldn't take because we do have a sword. Well, it's almost uh, set for the steel plate uh, to let it go. We can't carry that heavy. Got a lot more stamina now, which is fantastic. Again, not a very clean fight, but I think all things considered, it went well. We invested a lot of resources, but we got a lot of uh, resources out as well. That armor is fantastic for our build. Iron armor is particularly light for heavy armor. So in terms of weight class, so you're not losing a lot of stamina and getting that extra stamina increase is good. Getting shot by a crossbow, on the other hand, not so much. Good. Ooh, let me loot up the camp and then we will continue. All right, I looted up everything. I uh, got quite a few insights, used the knock scroll in order to get the boss chest open. Gotta buy a new one. And I will leave this episode with a beautiful view on Skyrim's uh, landscape and, of course, a little bit of uh, leveling up. Hamza has learned his lessons. We've now progressed to 25 Illusion. Um, I could rush Illusion further, but I think it's actually better since now it's becoming more expensive. It's actually better to go with a block and uh, maybe even smithing just uh, to get that to 25. That'll give us another level and as I mentioned uh, the levels in uh, Requiem 3BF Tweaks will give you a small amount of all of the stats as well as a small amount of um, magic resist every time you level up so last time we did uh, health it's definitely time for another magicka and we got another level and I'm wondering if we need to invest in stamina at some point <clears throat> I'm concerned we can't cast our spells so let's go with magicka Good, we have two perks, and as I mentioned, the next one will be Illusion. We got Novice Illusion, and now we can learn some of uh, the great uh, things. Fear is not bad, Dark Vision is not bad either, but costs mana uh, to keep up. Lionheart isn't bad either, uh, but I think we're going to go with... Um, Charming Touch is okay, 
but in reality we're not likely going to use that i think we're going with um uh, with fear just in case so that we do have some sort of ranged uh, option i don't think that we'll need dark vision right away so we're going with lion heart both spells that that i wouldn't cast a lot on this character apprentice illusion on the other hand is a different beast here we get a couple of really really strong spells first and foremost we want blur uh, blur definitely a fantastic spell reduces archer damage and uh, with that uh, we are pretty much it uh, able to stand in the back line hibernating touch would be what we are going for in terms of those elusive dreams that we want to send others into but it is a touch spell i rather would want to go with enraging orb which i think is the higher level version of uh, of uh, rage uh, with an aoe um, ability just to go through the others detect awareness uh, rune of dampening uh, isn't good for us because we're running um, heavy armor so sneaking is completely off the board hibernating touch uh, touch tech to let someone uh, sleep uh, arcane resonance would be okay i think it's another buff we might want to go with it and invisibility and uh, muffle are two stealth like buffs not for this build so we're going for enraging or fantastic so let's take a look at the spells that we have gotten and we're very solidly now into level six uh, the growing pains at the beginning are uh, are gone so here we go so we got blur uh, we definitely want to hotkey um, or at least favor that hotkey probably not uh, reduces uh, damage of range attacks by 33% and enraging orb target hit by the orb will attack anything nearby for up to 45 seconds can't empower it yet but it's a great spell fear isn't bad either but uh, is um, yeah really not good for us to to chase them lionheart cast a uh, cast a touch inspire valor that is great if we had a companion sometimes we will have one so might as well have it in uh, in the back pocket but let's for the fir uh, first time see how blur uh, would look like for us well we don't have enough magicka how much uh, would that cost us 152 and we are solitary rocking i think 120 at the moment so yeah not good um might need to let me just check something real quick uh, if i get rid of the armor yep then we can cast it there we go so that's going to be our trick for now can't cast a lot of things uh, elsewise but it's an ongoing running buff you can see mana regenerates just way way slower than um, but it is what it is um, I might be able to get like one what, what's the cost of uh, what's uh, the actual cost of our other spell raging orb would be 130 yeah, we need to reduce those costs in the way that we can do that. Uh, so what you're seeing now is Requiem's mechanic at work. The way that we can do that on the one hand side is uh, by specking into Delusive Phantasms, Charming Touch, um, Fear, Lionheart, Frightening Sphere, 30% more um, magnitude uh, can better affect the targets. Here we got Enraging or Hibernating Touch. That's what we want to get later. Where is the Overcast? Uh, here we go. Can be empowered a 30% uh, higher um, uh, chance, but empowerment costs even more. So there's actually no cost reduction there, which means the only thing that we should do is invest in heavy armor uh, to reduce here and here 40 heavy armor to get adapt uh, spells down so these two perks would be the next one we're starting with that perk and then uh, 40 heavy armor and 40 
uh, illusion will be the next big milestone where we're having adept spells and hopefully can cast one of them I need to find a good uh, ring for mana regeneration. The one that we're currently having with uh, stamina regeneration is okay. Um, I still feel overall uh, with being well fed uh, and the stamina on the breastplate, we're actually quite okay. I mean, look at that. Uh, we're good on stamina. We need mana regeneration and I'll do that off screen. Uh, time to invest our money right there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know um, how much you like bandits. Have you ever tried Requiem? And if so, what was your experience? Take care and see you soon.